Good morning. Um, with the last couple of weeks being such an unusual situation with COVID-19, we have a ton of schools that are going to distance learning or e-learning. And so now we have um, a situation where we need to help parents understand where to find uh, assignments, how to use different apps on technology, uh, things like that. So in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna put together some ways that you can help locate assignments, how you can complete those assignments on an iPad, and then how you can submit them back into Google Classroom to make sure that your student or your son or daughter are keeping up with their assignments as we are doing the e-learning and distance learning. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is how do you find assignments in Google Classroom? Uh, I'm using my daughters just so that it's kind of easier to see it from the student perspective. So she actually has her all of her Google apps together in one area, and it's at the very bottom left-hand side of her screen next to the Safari icon. Uh, so I'm gonna pull that up. And at the top left, you'll see an icon that says Classroom. That is Google Classroom. So that is the, that's the place you wanna go, especially for any student at Northwestern. Um, that's where you're gonna wanna go find their assignments. So I'm going to click on to Google Classroom. And it's going to bring up all of her different classes. Okay, so she has student services. Um, she has one from our principal, she has Choir. She's in choir, vocal music. She has PE right now, computer science, social studies, uh, science, math, those kinds of classes, language arts. And so how do you locate assignments? Well, the first thing we need to know is we need to know what subject we're looking at. I know for our students, we're not doing every subject every day. So you need to refer to the schedule that we've put together um, with regards to when the classes are. Uh, so that you know which classes they're supposed to be doing each day. And so for uh, yesterday, Thursday was a language art. So let's, let's look at language arts. So if I know that I had language arts yesterday, then we're going to find language arts, which is at the bottom here in green. I'm going to tap on language arts. And as you can see, it brings up a whole list of things. And so you might say, okay, well, how do I know what to do? What, what, you know, what is, what am I supposed to do? So um, you can look at the stream and each day what you should do is you should click on it to see what you're supposed to do, okay? So if yesterday uh, was language arts, so, I'm just going to look at, and I, again, I won't know what the assignment necessarily is unless I look at it. So I'm going to click on that assignment. And you can see there are two things there. And there's an agenda. It says watch the video and complete the assignment. The first one is the video. And so if I were to tap on the first assign or the first link, that gives me a video that comes up. And so hey, Ms. Schrock well. has put together a video for the kids to watch over subject verb two. agreement. I can X out of that. And then the next thing that they were supposed to do is complete the assignment. And so underneath the movie, if I click on indefinite pronouns as subject and problem subjects, it brings up a worksheet. And so then the next thing we have to do is figure out, well, how do we complete that worksheet? So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to take this and move it into an app called Notability where we will then complete the worksheet. And then we'll have another video on how to submit the work once it's completed. But for now, let's go back and see if we can find another assignment for another class. So we've backed out of that. Up at the top left, there are three lines. I'm gonna click on that. And then to the left, it brings up all the different classes. So we already looked at language arts. And so the next one we're gonna look at is math. And if we look at math, um, there's all kinds of messages here, okay? And so you might go, well, I don't know what they're supposed to do. The only way you're going to know is if you click on it to see if there's an assignment there. This one, she's just checking to see if anybody has any questions. Um, so there's nothing there, right? And you could go down, um, let's see. It'll say if there's an attachment. 
I want to find one that has a worksheet. Let's do this one. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so on that one, area of triangles, trapezoids, and parallelograms, only do the evens on both and put on paper. Okay, so then there are two different assignments. We can click on one of them. And remember the direction said to only do the evens. And probably earlier in another lesson, she gave a video lesson of some sort about this. And so this is probably a review, but it shows you where to find that assignment. Okay. Um, classwork, again, that just lists everything and it tells you whether it has a due date or not. And there are different folders. This tells who's in the class, the different classmates in there. But that's going to be the way to find the assignments, where they're located, and what your child has to do during this time of e-learning or distance learning. Um, and so the next video, we'll go ahead and export um, an assignment into Notability and show you how to complete that.